Good morning, welcome to Taiwan On Fishing. I'm out on Rice Lake for the Peterborough Pro Tackle Open with Ethan. We're on our way over to Golden Beach Resort uh, for check-in. We had a tough day practicing yesterday. I would say there's absolutely zero footage to show. So today is kind of going to be a whole new fresh start game plan and uh, put our heads down and fish and see what we can come up with. Thanks for watching. It's not big, I don't think, but it might keep. There we go. Okay. Good. Back over. Perfect. Number one. There's a small patch of grass here, and that's, that's what we're on right now. Just a, I don't know if it's gonna measure or not. I think that's what they're doing. I'll see that small patch. There we go. Net. Never mind. No. I got it. Okay, that's a little better. <laughs> I can hear number five. I really hope so, but I would prefer to not have him in our bag. Bye. Yep, definitely. Between these three. <laughs> that last fish I caught was probably one of the biggest and I didn't record that one. It's okay. It's okay. Oh my god, check this out. That's what they're eating right there. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> of 
course. back uh, we got home late Sunday uh, ended up finishing 32nd out of 60 boats weighed in 11.22 pounds um, wasn't exactly what I was hoping for there was a lot of things that uh, we just couldn't make work or couldn't find we we're going for smallmouth because we know in the past several years smallmouth have really dominated um, the tournaments there and basically we just couldn't find them looked for clean rock looked for weed edges uh, even like weed flats that we could fish uh, baits horizontally over and really just couldn't find out where they were living this time of year um, ended up catching a bunch of largemouth we did catch some small small mouth practice we really only had two keepers so really happy with the fact that we caught a bunch of fish on Sunday and uh, put together a somewhat respectable winner I caught all the rest of our keepers on um, a Gary Yamamoto cut tail worm in six and a half inches. A lot of the water that we were fishing was pretty thick with weeds. We were trying to find the heavier spots. And that's the ticket that did it there. But I think the key thing with uh, this style bait is that as it's punching through the weeds, um, it's not having as much drag through. So it's not getting slowed down it just has a very quick fall that they have to react to virtually all my bites were on the the first drop um, and I'd basically be landing on their head and they'd be swimming off with it I'd pitch out uh, it hit bottom and I just feel them swimming key thing was as soon as they hit it or as soon as I felt a bite I didn't just jack them or, or hook set as quick as possible I really uh, let them take the bait uh, I would feel them swim off with it reel down and and drive the hook but it wasn't slack setting um, it was just really letting them letting them have it and making sure they had it i also didn't want to throw a bunch of tungsten back into my face or ethan's face um, yeah so that was really the key ticket there nothing fancy just a six and a half inch cut tail worm which had one other good successful day on it and this pack of baits has sat in my boat the rest of the time i don't throw it super often but uh i'm gonna have to go buy some more as far as my setup for this, um, I'm using this rod as my pitching slash punching rod, uh, or for heavier pitching at least. Um, I do have some extra heavies, but I don't find it's as comfortable fish all day, and I feel like this has enough power for virtually uh, all of the fi uh, fishing I do here in Southern Ontario. Uh, the Diver Rebellion I've been super happy with. As much as I fish a lot of Shimano, um, I'm extremely happy with all the Daiwa that I own. This is a 7.3 Heavy, paired with a Daiwa Tatula Elite pitching and flipping. One of the key things that I really uh, enjoy is that this rod, it's super light, but it doesn't feel, it's not super thin in your hand, so it feels like you got a ton of power and you, and you do. Um, and the other thing is these massive handles, so it's really easy to fish all day. I'm never really missing the handles on the hook set. I have fished with reels with uh, a thinner diameter handle or a smaller diameter handle and uh, sometimes you miss the handle or you miss fish or you, um, you're just not expecting it all the time because a lot of times they bite when uh, when you're just not really fully paying attention or you're kind of in autopilot mode. I was throwing 40 pound braid. Um, you can go with 50, I just don't really feel like it's necessary. I feel like this is a little bit smoother 
and for what we were fishing it wasn't uh, it wasn't too much I really didn't have to have to uh, worry about my line that much and uh, fished all day caught every single fish and I don't think I retied once probably should have we've got a busy summer ahead of us uh, tournaments are really starting to pick up this week we are back I gotta switch out all the largemouth gear because rice lake we were hoping to go for smallmouth but I needed to have a little bit of both next up is the MLF Canadian Open and I have this week to prep and then I'm leaving Saturday to practice fishing till f or Saturday to Friday practicing on Lake Simcoe and then the tournament uh, is the MLF Canadian Open at July 1st and 2nd and uh, yeah, it's gonna be a busy week and lots of smallmouth to be had. Thanks so much for watching Taiwan On Fishing. Uh, hope you enjoy the series and please like and subscribe to follow my fishing season and tournaments. Uh, Taiwan On and good luck fishing.